Hi, I'm Stephanie, and this is An Instant with Chef Stephanie Eisard. Today I'm making a coconut and chicken soup Thai style. It's one of my favorite comfort foods. So full of flavor, so rich, so delicious. I love that creaminess of the coconut. And what's amazing is our Instant Pot with Ultimate Lid is going to cook it in just 10 minutes of pressure cook. So I have some chicken thighs that have been cut into bite-sized strips. I love chicken thighs. It's the best part of the chicken. You can definitely use chicken breasts if you like. The chicken thighs just have a little bit more richness, a little bit more fat, and when you're cooking them in the soup, it's gonna be super nice and tender. So first we're gonna go ahead and put a little salt on our chicken thighs, stir that in, and let it sort of dry brine while we get our Instant Pot heated for saute. I'm just gonna open up the lid and choose our saute setting. And we're gonna choose the highest temperature. It goes up to six, we wanna put it right on six. Hit start. So while that's heating up, we're gonna go ahead and add some seasoning to our chicken. I'm gonna use my, this little goat went to Thailand spice. It has coriander, a little bit of cinnamon, coconut, some citrus. You can of course use one of your favorite spice mixes. We're gonna grab a little bit of oil. And what we're gonna do is brown this in two batches so we don't overcrowd the pan so you can still have nice high heat on each batch of chicken. All right, so we're just gonna add in just a little bit of oil and then do our chicken in two batches. What's so great about this Ultimate Lid Instant Pot is that you can do just about anything in it. So right now I'm using it basically as a saute pan. I don't need to get any other pan sturdy, which is amazing. It's on super high heat. I'm able to brown the chicken, lock in all that juiciness, toast the spices, and get it ready to make my delicious soup. And what you wanna do is do it in two batches, pull out your first batch, um, and meanwhile, while we're waiting for it, we can go ahead and make sure we have all of our other ingredients ready to go. I've got some toppers, I've got cilantro, a little bit of Fresno chilies to make a little bit of heat. I've got some lime juice, which is gonna bring the brightness. I've got some sweet onions that we're gonna add in with our chicken and coconut milk to make the soup. And I've just got some fresh tomatoes. Um, just some vine ripe tomatoes, which are pretty easy to find year round. As we're pressure cooking our soup, these are gonna break down a little bit and really help to make this delicious broth that's so full of flavor. If you're unable to find fresh tomatoes, you can definitely use canned tomatoes. You just wanna get the nice big chunks of tomatoes as opposed to tomato paste or ground up tomatoes. Okay, I've got my tomatoes ready to go. My second batch of chicken is all ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put my first batch of chicken back in. Then I'm gonna dump in my sweet onion. And then we just add in the rest of our ingredients and it's really that simple. Got tomatoes. I'm gonna add in our coconut cream. I'm always looking for coconut cream as opposed to coconut milk. It's a little bit thicker and more rich and adds that extra creaminess to our finished soup. So we're gonna close the lid, lock the lid, select pressure cook. What's so great too is you can go ahead and select your steam release here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose quick release so at the end, the steam is released really quickly. And we're gonna go ahead and set it for 10 minutes. We're ready to go. All right, so we have under a minute to go, and of course it's a pressure cooker. There is gonna be steam that releases, but this has the quietest steam release that there's ever been, so it is gonna go off, but it's gonna be nice and quiet. And there it is, the steam is releasing. All that pressure is being let out. It's cooked our chicken in just 10 minutes of pressure cooking. It's gonna be super nice and tender. And there it says, okay to open up the lid. Let's see, I bet there's gonna be a amazing smells coming out of this. smell the spices, smell the richness and sweetness of the coconut, so excited. Now we just need to add a couple more ingredients to really bring it to life. We're gonna add some fish sauce that adds the salty notes to our soup, give that a stir, and then we're gonna add some lime juice to bring that brightness. So we've got the richness of the coconut, we've got that nice tender chicken, we've got the savory notes from our onions and tomatoes, and then the brightness from lime. I like to add a little bit now, taste and see how it is, and then serve with a little bit more lime so folks can make it even brighter if they'd like. Okay, so I've got a bowl of rice. I love serving this over rice to bring it to a nice hearty place. That bright, savory notes that we have going on. A couple of spoonfuls, you can see that the chicken is super tender, nice and shreddy in the soup. Little bits of tomato, so creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Fresnos on top of mine. Totally up to you, but it's nice to add a little extra heat. Some cilantro. So there we go, so quick, so simple, so delicious. So many layers of flavor. We have super moist chicken, really rich coconut, brightness of lime, fish sauce, only pressure cook for 10 minutes in our ultimate lid pressure cooker, truly amazing. Be sure to subscribe to the Instant YouTube channel so you can get this recipe and more. Enjoy.